Dear friends, brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's liturgy we get inspiration from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verses 15 to 26. And we hear of how Jesus is moving around doing good and healing and freeing people and making them all complete and happy again. And wherever he is going, he's becoming popular, he's becoming known. And people are following him, they want to be touched by him, they want to hear him touch their hearts and their lives. They want to be influenced by him. They want to be like him. They want also to be, to feel good and to be happy and to heal the way he's healing, to do good the way he's doing good. I mean, when someone does good, I mean, that good attracts, it pulls people. And so this is what Jesus is. He's doing good, going around and invites you and me to move around everywhere, to do good and to be good so that that good can attract attract as many people as possible, beginning from the family, in the community, in the society, at work, wherever we are. Let us do and never get tired of doing that good, so that that good can expand like fire and can attract people, can expand like air, and so that whoever breathes that spirit of goodness in the family feels at home. But now we see that as he moves around doing good, some religious authorities, they are out of jealousy. They are not happy about the good actions of Jesus. Difference when somebody does good, am I happy or not happy? If I am not happy when somebody does good, that is means that I'm an agent of the evil and the devil, and I have to check myself before I begin paying for that evil that I am about to do, discouraging. <laughs> A person who is doing good. Never discourage with a word, with an action, someone who is doing good, however small or little or big it is. Just encourage. Let the good multiply. Let the good not be blocked because of my words, because of my action, because of my jealousy. Somebody is doing good and I am, oh, I can't reach his level, her level. This is exactly what happens to people who are jealous about those who are doing good they try to pull them into their dirt into their level down there because they can't reach their level instead of being humble enough to request or to learn more from those who already are doing well and they always forget these people who pull down and drag down others down they forget that they too have something good in them that maybe the other person doesn't have so it's a moment of give and take that humility to learn from the other as the other learns from me prevents me from being jealous so in the episode of today, we see these religious leaders trying to drag the name of Jesus, that good name, down. They are pulling him down because they can't reach his level. And they want to, to they, they use false accusations and allegations against him that he's casting out the evil by the demoniac kind of forces. How can the good come from evil in this case? Good is good, and he's doing good, and he's healing, he's casting out people. How can somebody who is possessed by the evil one do good? Jesus is proving to them that he is not possessed, and his actions, which are good, are coming from a good heart, a good soul. Dear friends, are we among those who also accuse falsely others who are doing good? Are we among those who only see negativity in everything that we see, especially in other people? Are we among those who have blocked and already marked that those people will never change and they are bad and we are good? No. The Lord tells us, be careful because only water, clean water in this case, comes from a clean kind of pipe. You cannot expect both clean and dirty to come together. Either it is water is dirty or it is clean. And so the goodness that Jesus is pouring out, like water, clean water, is clean because it's coming from a clean heart, a clean, good heart inside which is good so it's only good things are happening when our inside is good only good things will happen outside and that proves that from inside jesus is powerful is strong from the goodness that is inside that's why he's able to cast out every kind of negative powers that he meets outside including the demonic attacks or that we're attacking people he's freeing people and that was his mission and that's our mission
that with the strong forces of goodness in us, in our hearts, when we train ourselves to be good inside, we have the power to go and kick off everything that is negative and even free others. We are freed in order to go and free others. I cannot free anyone if I remain in negativity, in badness, if my thoughts, my actions, my words are all bad, bad, bad. I cannot free anyone. I cannot heal anyone if I am negative inside, if I am bad inside, if I'm full of dirt inside. I cannot heal anyone. I cannot make anyone clean outside if I am dirty inside. And so the Lord invites us to clean ourselves with the sacraments of reconciliation so that we are strong enough to clean ourselves with the sacrament of communion where we are one and we we do we do consider each other as brothers and sisters in communion in unity to clean ourselves with the sacrament of 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 confirmation which he gives us this the gifts of the spirit that sets us on fire of love sharing the many small big gifts that we have to others to build others instead of pulling down others as these religious authorities were doing instead of encouraging jesus and building jesus and other good things that he's doing and building others they were trying to pull him so that that good can stop please never stop any good thing Never stop anyone who is doing good, however small it is. Encourage him so that he can learn even more, so that he can even become an expert of goodness and share that expert of goodness to others, and that goodness multiplies. Dear friends, today, apart from the spiritual demoniacs and apart from the psychological attacks, there are also other demons that unfortunately attack us, and we have to be careful about them. And some of these demons are of greed the demon of greed of accumulation of selfishness of injustice of oppression which is done usually by the rich to the poor the oppression of those who are powerful to those who are weak to those who are uh, the oppression of those who are educated towards those who are uneducated the oppression of those uh, of the little ones by the strong ones. Dear friends, we see the demon also of injustice, the demon of, of oppression, the demon of discrimination, and the, the demon of regarding others less than myself, meaning that I am higher, you are lower. And the demon of... Uh, not regarding people as humans, taking advantage of them, manipulating them, especially those who are weak, using them as, as if they are things and not human beings and not brothers and sisters and not friends. Dear friends, are we among those who discriminate others, who put aside others and we think we are high, we are the best and others are worst? If we discriminate others in any way, then we are possessed. And we need to be freed as soon as possible from these demons. Are we among those who accumulate wealth, riches, possessions, powers by putting down others? If we are among those who accumulate this kind of powers, wealth, and everything, we are possessed and we need to seek immediate spiritual help and deliverance from such negative evils that put down others because a normal human person can never put down another are you among those who look down on, upon others because of your status i am educated i am powerful i have money then if you are among those and you put down others and look at others as things then you are possessed and immediately we should seek immediate deliverance and so that we can free be freed from all this kind of negative forces in us so that we can continue welcoming everyone as a brother as a sister journeying together in this life and helping each other to be good and to do good always.
Let's remember that all these demons and possessions are actually fed and nourished in our minds. Our ne these negative things are nourished in our minds, in our hearts, in our, and this influences our lives. Just as the good things are also nourished in our minds, in our hearts, and they influence in a good way our lives. Let's remember the words of Jesus that he, whoever is not with me, with the Lord, who is good, is against the Lord is against anything that is good and is doing bad. And he says, whoever does not gather with the Lord scatters. With whom am I? Am I with the negativity? Then I will be negative. And at the end of it all, negative things will start happening in my life. And I don't know why they, I remain negative and why bad things are beginning to happen in my life. Because I am feeding my mind, my heart, my life with everything that's negative. But if I want good things to start to happening, let me feed my mind, my heart, my life with everything that is good. And let me continue doing that good no matter what. And I do it with the Lord who is working and walking through me, through the word of God, through the communion, through the reconciliation. Let us remember, dear friends, that to avoid evil is good, but not to do good is evil. Today's gospel teaches us not only to avoid evil by avoiding evil thoughts, evil actions, but to do good in our thoughts, to think good, to be good, and to do good in our mind, in our hearts, and in our lives. Sometimes we are surrounded by evil amidst the many good things that happen. So amidst this evil that may surround us, always remember that in amidst the evil, always do good and be good and good things will win over evil. Conquer evil by doing good and being good. And this is how Jesus also in today's gospel did like Jesus, we are invited to cast out, to kick off, to shut down all the influences of the evil and negative spirits that are maybe within us and that may be around us so that they not they do not hurt us and break us down and break others down and so that they don't come and begin accumulating and even come even more and multiply. We are invited instead to embrace everything that is good so that that good um, good, good spirits can be the air that we breathe every day and so that it can multiply and do good to all the people around us. Let us avoid the negative spirits in us by repentance, by reconciliation, by confession, by communion, by oneness, by being together as brothers and sisters. So dear friends, these negative forces, let's be careful because they will return to us if they find that inside us is empty, inside us is full of negativity, in our mind in our soul is full of negativity, is, full, is empty, then they, the evil spirit will find a space inside in us and they will crush us and crush crush other people around us. That is why we are invited to fill our minds, our hearts, our lives with everything that is good so that there's no space for anything that is evil. Avoid feeding our mind, our hearts with the things which are negative. Instead, feed them with everything that is good, beautiful, and nice, and loving, and wonderful things to begin happening in our lives. Yes, I know that there are moments in our lives that in spite of our doing good or being good, there are people who really try their best to mix you with their down level of negativity. The Lord says, open your eyes and your hearts and kick off all these kind of situations, negative situations before they crash you to the ground. Allow the spirit of the Lord, which is alive, dynamic and active, that spirit of love to always win over evil, that spirit of goodness in us to win over evil. And that is what we are called to be, not to allow negativities to enter us and to open our eyes to see immediately the negativity coming and we kick it off. When people throw bad things, evil things on you and misunderstand you, just remember that God's finger is on you. God is with us. He never abandons his own. He's the man where God is with us and is working out everything with us to the best of our being to crush the evil and the enemy and you are not allowed alone just only try to keep away from everything that is negative and good things will begin happening and let us pray that the lord 
uh, may guide us and uh, be with us always in winning against the evil one and that we may always think only of good, do good and be good to all. Greetings from Jerusalem, dear friends.